Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Merchant Kai D Merchants of Kai Dan, the number one show that is able to drive as many viewers away from me as possible. Actually, I think that's the new, the new analytics system that YouTube is doing, which is just fantastic. So, uh, I open it up, I start up my game, and I immediately am met with a dark council. Mysterious. I like the little triangle thing. Triangles just mean evil conspiracy place, doesn't it? Most people do not believe in the Dark Council, I know I don't, any more than they believe in fairies, magical hangover cures, and kind wizards. Yeah, fuck wizards. But some of the traitors know that every story has a grain of truth in it, and the truth is that the Dark Council is a real organization, and they are the ones spreading exaggerated tales to deceive people. Some traders even know the secret symbols of the council, like this triangle one, and they are ready to give special discounts to those wearing them. It's safer to be on their side. After all, the council exists for as long as trading it does. It makes me wonder if the Dark Council is real in the real world. So, today's beverage is ice water with a slice of lemon in it. Fancy. Let's get started. I need to catch up with myself. That's right, I made a shit ton of money. About a metric, about a metric shit ton. About a metric shit ton. And uh, I don't think I have anything in my cargo. I have three carpets. Woo! Let's see what we can do. Hey, was that always here? Here you can charter a ship. Charter a ship? I'm an Overos. How can I charter a ship? I guess, oh. Oh, that's cool. No, I didn't know that, but I'm going to stick to my wagons. Thank you very much. Uh, we have a trade thing because they realize, hey, this guy's rich, but I don't want to do that trade mission yet. I want to gather up a few more funds and update my wagons. It'll help with trade. Well, let's see what we got here, though. We got a quest. You look like an ambitious merchant and surely would like to achieve much more. You better believe it, Mr dreadlock dragon person thing you know me and a few others we have an agreement to support each other if you help us we will help you if you make up your mind to do so show this medallion at the inn in Nar. but remember it is made from a magical type of metal which will dissolve in the air in 30 days so don't ponder for too long mmm mmm I like this already we're in the conspiracy fuck yeah Let's see what kind of stuff we can get here. Food is... Eh, eh, hides are... Eh, eh, clothes... No. Wood? I don't know. I don't know. How much is wood normally? Is that normal? Well, we can check. How much does wood sell for normally? 28, 22, 25, 32... 26 is a little above what I'm going to do here. Olive oil? Fuck olive oil. Oh yeah, we have a couple of carpets. Get rid of those. And, uh, spice. What did they say spice was? 65 and they want 73? I know I said like a couple of episodes back what it's going to be. Alright, this is about as much of the boring market stuff. And, uh, I am going to continue to cut out, at least what I can, of the, uh... Wait a second. I changed my outfit. I'm fancier. Look at that shirt. It sparkles like Edward Cullen. Huh. Alright. Okay, when I come back, um, cool things will be happening, hopefully. I guess I'll see you guys in NAR. Right off the bat, before I, before I even get out of the city, I get this guy. Sir, are you willing to take a traveler to Argune with you? You understand, this is a delicate matter, and our city watch doesn't have anything to do with this. Possessed madman. Don't worry. He's not the dangerous type, but he's... He is obnoxious. In Urgune, they can bless the insane. Really? With, what do they do, throw rocks at him? You'll get 900 gold, and you'll bring him back cured. D double that. All right. Uh, I'm not afraid of the insane. He can travel with me. Oh, this ought to be great. That's fine. Let's see. After emerging from a sharp curve, hot fight in progress. Help him out. And I get stuff. Olive oil stuff. Cool. Cheap olive oil is always a good thing. And another toll. Good lord, I don't remember there being so many tolls. Let's uh, real quick search for stuff. Um, because I'm being hijacked to Urgune. 
clothes. How have clothes been doing lately? Actually, okay, so that's a good price for clothes. Let's go ahead and load up about half. So I can do 300, we'll still do 150. And I can just enter it in. And fuck it, let's go to Urgune. Let's see what's going down there. Yeah, yeah. Also, Urgune has some good shops for, uh, I'm sorry. Urgune has some good places that we can get um, wagons from, at least in my experience. So I guess I'll see you guys at Urgune. Holy crap, I'm already selling clothes for, like, a lot of fucking money. That was fast. Mm. Sure, I can always fire you. All right, let's see what's going down in the tavern where people get blessed in the head. I need to get to Nard. I need to. Are you heading there? Take me with you. This is urgent. My dreams are getting... Holy crap. My dreams are getting so vivid, so lively. I will give you 2,000 gold. No shit. That's... All right. I can't ignore that vision, can we? Um, oh, here it is. The blessings. My son, there is not much we can do. We have tried our prayers, but it seems that a demon inside him took its roots deeply, although there are special measures and prayers I could resort to. Unfortunately, everything has a price. In this painful world, if you go back and pick up a special potion that is waiting for me in Nar, fucking everybody wants Nar. Nar this, Nar that. Nar is the place to be. I might be able to cure your friend. He's not my friend. So a magical potion, huh? Fine. I can bring it. Uh, and, you know, I don't need this kind of bullshit. Hey, uh... Wow, hides. Pretty good. How, how are, how's the ore real quick? Olive oil for ridiculously low? That's not ridiculously low enough! Wait a second. He's selling it for more because I have this amulet? Or is he? God damn, I'm not buying it though. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, ore, 30. 30 is good. Let's trade this for ore. And we're going to Nar. I'm pretty sure they're going to have plenty of stuff for Nar. 30. Fuck it, load up. Load me up. Load me up that shit. Hell yeah. And uh, pff, let's see what's happening at Nar. It's the place to be. All right, let's see. For each cart, you know, at 60, that's not bad. We found a diamond. Fuck yeah. All right. Wow. Okay, we got some people to talk to. Let's start where the place where we can get this guy blessed. The bar. So you decided to help our small group. Here's your task. Go quickly to the local market and buy at least ten pieces of jewelry. Really? Then swap them for the ones I give you. And make a scene that the merchant... Quillen sells fake jewelry. Even if he denies it all, his reputation will suffer, and we will be ma and we will make sure that everyone knows about it. Don't take pity on him. He cheated us badly. If you are loyal to us, we know how to repay you. If he's a rogue, then let him be punished accordingly. Uh, Mr. Ledger? <laughs> I swear to God, that guy looks like the Joker. So we can trust him. That's how we know. Okay, um... Let's head to this place. I see one soul. One has to look in the mirror of darkness. I have understood much, but this is not the place. I shall stay. Not now. The destination I need is Vergato. A different kind of darkness. A different kind of mirror. Wouldn't you say? Ah. I... Okay. <laughs> Whatever, man. Whatever. I have never seen your ugly face before. Did the bishop send you? Alright. I guess he changes his envoys frequently. And frankly, I don't give a damn. Here, take this and get out. Um. Alright. I received whatever this thing is. Woo! 
oh my god, they're, they're, like I can actually sell stuff for, for a goodly amount here. Do I have nothing but wood? Really? It's all wood? I don't remember doing that. Alright. I'm my wood. I really don't remember picking up wood. And I don't have it recorded. Okay. Let me check out our quests now. So let's see here. Um, follow the vision. This guy needs to go to Vergato, which is all the way on the west. Caravan full of fools. Let's see. Deliver the potion to the bishop in Ergune, which is actually near Vergato. I can still do that. Fake jewelry. Buy at least ten pieces of jewelry at the local market and then make a scene. Alright. How much is jewelry? 92? I can do that. I'll do 12. Holy... Wow, no, not 120. I don't have that kind of money. Can I do that with jewelry? Like, what is this buying at? What is this buying at? What is one buying at? 92. And jewelry goes something like 75. So this is actually too much. But it's, it's part of the thing. I'll take 12. Good job. I'm exchanging your medallion for a parchment. Oh, for a permanent one. So keep it with you at all times. Some merchants know our symbol. And they will sell you things cheaper. Maybe someone will contact you again later about something else? Huh? Huh? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Say no more. Know what I mean. Uh, darn it. I lost my temporary one and I gained another one. Cool. All right. False jewelry. Wherever there's big money in play, cheaters often show up. Of course. There's no difference in the jewelry business. A well-made forgery will look like a real jewel encrusted. A real jewel encrusted in the finest gold. Okay. At least for the amateur's eyes. But a skilled jewelry, jeweler will easily see that it's just tombay, tom, tombay, tombak, tom, tombok, and worthless glass. They say that in the far east, the barbarian lands, there are huge factories specialized in making the best quality of fake jewelry. How is that different then from real jewelry? The problem is so common that guardsmen no longer arrest traders caught with the forged jewelry. They just make sure to destroy every last suspicious bit, and then let the traders go. It's wise to bring your own tr trusted jeweler to not buy fake ones in the first place. That does not sound like a bad idea indeed. So let's see here. What's going on? What's handy? Carpets. I still don't know what a good price for carpets are. Let's see what everybody buys for. 35 24 uh, Really? Son of a bitch, really? Wait, I have ore still? No, I don't want to deal with it right now. Uh, okay. Even even at my specialized price, 80 is way too much. Although, jewelry sells for a nice amount. Hmm. Hmm. Do I have any specialized people? I do not. Not yet, at least. Specialists can be useful. Um, specifically, I'm thinking about getting a whole bunch of specialists to uh, knock out a certain monster at a certain location so I can start a certain brewery with a certain monk. I have plans. I have plans. I Really, I want to open up a whorehouse in Overos. So, okay. Vergato and Urgune. Vergato is over here, and Urgune is over here. How much time do we have? Neither of these have uh, time limits. Let's head back to Ragune, pick up a couple of carts, maybe get some cider. See you guys there. Okay, we picked up some olive oil in here. Here's some Ragune stuff. Thank you, my son. God blessed me with meeting you. You've been much help, and I have prayed for your friend as promised. Oh, thank you. You just needed this little drinky drinky. He's now in a better shape, and demon no longer possess his soul. Praise! And now, excuse me, I have to meditate. Oh, that's good meditation. Oh, man. <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? I can... I can diss him? Should I? I know this guy. He was okay when he... When, as he is mad. I bet he's an even better man now. I'll take him home. Or no thanks, I don't believe you've cured him. Whoever heard of curing the insane? You know, nah, just... There we go. Oh, no, I lost beer. Wait, did I not get rid of the madman? No, I did not. I have to give him to Overos. You know, that's not too bad a deal. I can do that. 
All right, now I picked up some olive oil. Uh, I was uh, gambling. And I honestly don't like having olive oil near me. And also, the ore that I bought here is selling for more than when I bought it. Let's hand it right back to them. And I have this jewelry, which is a lost cause. Let's just get rid of it. All right, let's see here. Olive oil is now selling for less, a lot less. But I don't think that's enough to get much of a profit. Nope. This is thanks to our uh, special circumstances. Carpets, I still don't know Still don't know how much I should sell carpets for. Sometimes, that looks like about break-even prices, and I don't want to deal with that either. So nothing else is here. Uh, food, too much. Everything's too much. All right, onward to Vergado, I guess. Let's finish this off, and then on the way back, we'll, we'll swoop around and uh, hit up Overos anyway, because I'm really thinking about buying that whorehouse, and I hope my new status will allow me to do that. Let's find out, shall we? To ascend on has... Okay, to ascend on has to dive into the deepest pit. And this is true, believe me. I have seen the abyss of my soul, and it was yellow. Now I know the way of the spiritual... Or the spiral... The spiral, sorry. Could you please take me back to Urgune? F fuck you! You're stuck here. <laughs> You're stuck here. Oh, I got some food somehow. Take that food. I don't care if it's at a loss. It's not actually not at a loss. I actually bought a ton of hides. Olive oil for 50 is still too much. Sorry. Or at 50? Motherfuck. Do I even... Wait, that's way more. That's... What the... Is this... Is this actually giving me discount? Or is it, like, pushing the price up? I have yet to see one of these prices be better. Except for olive oil, maybe olive oil, because it's all been like break-even prices. I can't even tell anymore. Oh, sorry, my friend. We first have to hit up over us. And, uh, yeah, we can even take this place for some ungodly reason. Oh, no, we can't. It goes to Osmor, Dunlar. Oh, here it is. Over us. Takes five days to get there for 236, which isn't bad. Is it bad? No, that's bad. It's just faster, maybe? No, it's not faster. What the fuck? So I can take a ship to Overos. And doing so will cost me... Twice as much money and take one day more. Right. Let's return this guy home. Uh, you know, yeah, I am... Com kind of come up with an army. It'll make sense here in a second. So you're back. That is great. Just great. Here, take this money and be gone. <laughs> uh, thank you, Colonel San 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 Sanders. Ooh, I got 900 bullshit money for that, but at least I'm still go ahead of the game. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, I am still not going after that. Actually, what I want is, believe it or not, a bar. And nobody's here, because what I want to do is... I want to take my men. What do I have? Ten men? Three of them in carts, and I want them to attack a certain someone. So, let's see. I guess I'll start looking for more men and a commander, preferably, uh, on the way there, as I'm picking up this army, this small army. And we'll see. Hmm. Hmm, yeah, that's good. Well, I got a lot of hides. Do I want to help him? Yes, I want to help him. Hmm, stuff at Brocado sells hides high. Hmm. Collecting those uh, little, um, what do I call them? IOUs? Can actually be really fucking useful. I mean, really fucking useful. Let's take a look at them. I have a lot of them. I don't know if I have a maximum uh, inventory. We'll see. If nothing else, I can sell these. But I found, especially as you've seen with the, uh, probably the last episode, depending on how I edit this, that these can actually get you a lot, a lot of money if you're careful about it. You know? So, a lot of selling stuff for high. Cool. I also like the ones that just buy, buy, uh, buy low. So this is where I wanted to be. Um, in Cromlech. Drink! 
Don't try to say this place's name. You'll choke. All right, first off, uh, we are going to search around here. Uh, we found three diamonds. Thank you very much. But this is the other thing. I want to clear this out. An ancient stone ring situated on the meadow. Weird events plague this place. One time, five Neboro men traveling to Urbunte camped here. They vanished without a trace. Whatever took them left their belongings, coins, and even clothes untouched. Wow, cool. Let's send seven men to their deaths. Ah, oh, he remains undefeated, whatever this thing is. Two crew died, but we got some diamonds and some more. And you can only do this once per visit, I guess. Which is a pity. So we got a little bit of ore out of that. So I guess until then, I need to keep an eye out. Uh, next stop. I don't actually know. Ah, hell, I'm supposed to go to Urgune. I went the wrong way. At least there's no time limit on this one.